Hello, I'm Pastor Matthew Verhoeg from the Valley Alliance Church, and this is a sermon in three minutes. Today, we're continuing our series in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. In this section, Jesus sends out 72 disciples ahead of him, two by two, to prepare his way. This is a mission to Israel, and yet it serves as a model for how Christians should live out their lives on mission. The first point is that missions begin with fervent prayer. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Even though Jesus is sending out 72, more workers are needed. I don't know how you are going to reach your neighbors or our church is going to reach our community, but I know this. It begins not with a strategy or program, but Christians pleading to God to send workers into God's harvest. This is a call to earnest prayer because whatever happens to bring about the building up of God's kingdom, it must be done in God's way, by God's power. So we must begin by pleading for God to act. The second point is that God's mission is hard. Jesus sends them out with these words. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Jesus is the Lion of Judah, and yet his greatest victory is being the Lamb of God on the cross, dying for the sins of all humanity. In following Jesus, we are to overcome as lambs, not with the power of the sword, but by being willing to sacrifice our comforts, our money, and even our lives for the sake of God's kingdom. Tertullian said that the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. The way of the lamb is hard, but it ultimately overcomes. Point three is that success is speaking the gospel. Jesus tells the 72 this, Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. What is so remarkable is that whether or not people respond positively to Jesus' message, the message is the same. The kingdom of God has come near you. In the same way, Christian's message is that Jesus died for your sins. And this is a message, whether it's accepted or rejected, that any successful mission isn't converting, but it's only the spirit that opens up people's eyes. Successful mission is speaking the gospel to unbelievers clearly, purely, charitably, as Jesus calls us to.